Midas, Mohawks, and Hornets. Oh my! What up all you fish tank ninjas? What we got right here is an update on Beauty, the 90 gallon reef. And what we're going to talk to you about today is simple. We're going to talk about the livestock. As you guys found out in the last video, I've moved to downtown Houston. And that means everything's got to move with me. So, today we're going to talk about what we moved, what we didn't move, and how it is doing at this moment. Would you guys like to start off with the good news? Or the bad news? Um, let's start off with the bad news. Guys, what did not make the move was my brother from another species, Spoticus, the blue spot jawfish. Guys, the reason for this is simple. Honestly, when, it came, when I came back from out of the country on my vacation, my friend was watching the tank, and he did a great job watching the tank, but he wasn't watching the fish, and by fish I mean... Spoticus as much as uh, he's supposed to so when I came back Honestly, he was gone. I couldn't find him I thought he jumped into the overflow because he did that a few times and I would always take him out But he wasn't there I looked through the rocks this and that I could not find Spoticus nowhere It's a shame though because that's my favorite fish I've ever owned and it was actually very 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 Heartbreaking not to see him when I came home. I don't know what happened unfortunately and that's just a mystery of reef tanks sometimes things disappear and it just sucks when they do or am i the only one that this ever happens to guys leave a comment below let me know if anything's ever disappeared out of your fish tank or, or reef tank now that we got all that bad news out of the way let's talk about the good news what did make the move and as you guys can see the zoas um the difficult part about this was when my tank crashed before well when i was moving it it took a little while to get everything moved. I, I still had the system a little bit running. I was planning things, but the, the equipment and everything was all gone. The water was getting stagnant, so I had my boy t -Zook watch after these frags for me. Now, as you guys can see, I've added some few frags to my little collection of Zoas, and I plan on making this whole little sub-circle, half-circle, cove, whatever you want to call that, a Zoa garden. Now, if you remember the last video when I first got these Zoas, some of these start off as one polyp, two polyp, the most was probably like three polyp frags, and look at those mohawks, they're growing off the plug. I can't even bury the plug into the sand because it will bury some of the Zoas. Now, the Zoas are doing so good in the tank that I decided it's time to try my luck on something else. So as you guys can see in the top right corner, I added a bird's nest. The bird's nest is one of my favorite SPS. I love that it grows into this like crazy looking intertwining ball of beautifulness. And this isn't the only thing I got in my tank. I also added a bonsai. I don't know, I think it's an aquapora, I don't know what it is, but it's a tricolor bonsai and it was looking amazing in my local fish store and the frag was only like $10. I had to get me off some of that bonsai tricolor sexiness. I just wish this camera would do it justice. Unfortunately, you can't see all the green, the pink, and the purple growing on this plug right here. Last but not least, guys, I picked up one of my favorite corals in the hobby, the Duncan Large Polyp Stony Coral. Now, the plans for this tank are simple. I'm going to keep it an SPS dominated tank. I only plan on putting maybe one or two LPS in this entire system and only the Zoa garden in here. I want to make it so that the primary focus is on the SPS care and hopefully everything else because the SPS are harder to take care of will do very very well. But if they don't, the SPS is what's going to be the main focus guys. Alright so that's the end of the video and now it's your turn to take part. Guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about my coral selection and or if you know the name of some of these Zoas. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I got videos coming at you next Wednesday. Make sure to check out my fish tank hooligans and don't forget to do amazing things like pull a tugboat that's stuck in the middle of the ocean back to port only using a parasail. Guys, Till next time, tank like a boss, cause you're a boss, and that's how bosses tank.